Well, YouTube today at uh, powerjackrepair.org we have an ASUS Q536F and on this ASUS the connector itself is broke and it broke inside. Let me show you how it looks on the inside. And I need to fire up the lights in order for you to see anything here. Let's see. You see right there? You see the pins? All right. So those pins, you should not be able to see the pins. You should be able to see a black round circle, like the one you see right here. You see? And uh, if you see those pins, that means the jack is broken. If you don't see those pins, that means uh, your problem is probably not the jack. Now, as you can see, it's all insulated right here. I insulated it with the captain tape. Uh, the link is below for the captain tape that, that you can get from Amazon. And then I also insulated with the 3M. This is a really expensive product. So, I mean, you don't really have to buy it. Uh, I do it because I don't want to spend half a day fixing one of the components that, that might fall off the motherboard while I'm working on uh, this system. So, I insulated the, the uh, area around the connector so that the uh, capacitors and diodes won't be falling off the motherboard when I am working on the laptop. Now, uh, here, this is not for this. This is this one is for this. So, at the board it says UX, UX562FD. UX562 revision 2. Now let me show you how I'm gonna desolder this guy. So the way how to desolder it is you, you wanna add some solder to the joints and then you wanna apply some hot air. And so basically before you're gonna add solder, you wanna add some flux, then you're gonna put some leaded base solder. It's gonna mix with the unleaded base solder. And we're gonna apply some hot air and the soldering iron on top of those uh, connections here and we're gonna add solder on both sides this side and the bottom side and using the hot air we're gonna be able to just drop it off from the motherboard and some remaining some remaining thermal paste from prior repairs so yeah let me show you how this is done all right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add some flux. Flux will let the new solder penetrate into the jack much better. Then we're gonna power up the hot air. And then we're gonna put the full connection under the hot air. All right, now we're going to flip this board up and we're going to add some solder here. Some fresh solder here, right there, right there. All right. Now, once we have all the solder added, what we want to do is try and lift this guy up.
All right, looks good. Now we're gonna decrease the uh, uh, decrease the hot air temperature. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna suck all the solder from the joints All right, looks good. All right. Looks nice and clean from both sides. We got the new connector here. We got the new, we're gonna put the new connector in place. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add some flux. Here, here, right there, and right there. Some flux in the back as well. All right. Now let me do this gap. Got some flux here. That way, the solder gonna penetrate much better into the into the into the motherboard. Alrighty. All right, so what I have to do here is hold this guy down so that it would be sitting solidly on the motherboard. All right. All right, looks good. Looks good. And now we're gonna add some solder on the top side. Ah, uh, not the solder, the flux. And then we're gonna use the leaded base solder. To solder up the top side. All right, looks good. All right. All right, looks good. All right, so the only thing left to do is to inspect and make sure none of the nearby components got damaged and none of them flow off the motherboard. All right. And basically I need to clean the motherboard here. All right. Looks good to me. Clean up on the bottom as well.
Alrighty, let's look under the microscope. All of the components are still intact on the motherboard. All of the soldering points are totally fine. I want to make sure that there is no breach right here. Nope, there is no breach here. We're going to be cleaning up a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, this side looks ideal to me. Let's see. Yeah. Nothing is bringing anywhere. Yeah, this side is perfectly soldered. That looks good. Looks good, looks good. All right, let's look at the top side. All right, this is the top side. All right, uh, all of the components seems to be intact and you can see how well Let's zoom in and see if this one is well, very well soldered or not. Yeah, right there, you see how well the, the leg right here is soldered. You can see the, the penetration, you see? This is soldered to this, and this pad is active. This is soldered right here to this. So, ideal soldering job. I mean, I don't think... And this guy right here is penetrated all the way through. Uh, we need to clean up a little bit right here some flux. Let's zoom out up here. Let's clean up this guy right here, like that, like that. And let's clean up. this side all right that's good we can assemble the system and make sure that it all works if you have a power connector issue send it over we've been in business for 20 plus years we got connectors for every single laptop make and model for 99.9 percent .9 of all laptop makes and models uh, the uh, website should be found below Alrighty, let's take a look and see if this thing gonna be... Oh, that's the wrong connector. They all look identical to me now, this here, like that. Plug it in. And let's see if all, all of them, all three pins are being conducted. Conducting the electricity, so here. We're gonna put this on ground, we're gonna put this on ground. And we get nothing. Ah, it's because the voltmeter is not on. All right, so minus is fine. Plus is fine. The data signal probably not connected to anything. The data signal is this one here. Yeah, no, let's take a look. This, yeah, data signal is right here, and it's not going anywhere. I mean, it's connected to the motherboard, but it's not going anywhere. And the positive is right here. So the positive goes from here to here, from here to here, and from here to there, and down there. All right. So this looks good thanks so much for watching please leave a like subscribe and you guys take care and have a good day thanks bye all righty just to finish this video up i want to show you that everything does work here it shows plugged in unplugged plugged in all right and that's your asus uh, here the lights show that the battery is charging and the laptop is working all right, thanks so much. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe, and you guys take care and have a good day. Thanks.